Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Virgos. Virgos, Virgos, Virgos. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I know that you are because that is the choice that you made, which was to have a fantastic day. Let's get into your reading, Virgos. <clears throat> what do we know about our wonderful Virgos besides the fact that your duality is feminine? So a divine feminine, that female energy, whether you're man or woman, doesn't really matter. Your divine feminine energy is a cyclic, right? So it's like a circle. It is directed inward. And so it nurtures and re and has a receiving nature. So what that means is that you are a nurturer. You can't help it. You are a nurturer, right? So <clears throat> that means that you, when people are giving you stuff on a low vibration, um, you don't want to have to sort through all of that mess because you don't like drama, right? But, and so for my Virgos, sometimes it's hard for you to say exactly how you feel when people are giving you a bunch of mess, right? Um, hard for you to say, you would rather focus on, um, not necessarily the emotional aspect of things. Also, your ruling planet, and I'll get more into that in a second. Your ruling planet is Mercury, right? So Mercury rules intelligence and reason and predisposes towards a high, strong temperament, right? Your polar opposite sign is the Pisces. At Pisces, lowest vibration, they are lazy. That's just one of the characteristics. And Virgos don't like lazy people, quite plain and simple, right? And so when we talk about how awesome you all are, intelligence really is your hallmark. It's the hallmark of your sign, intelligence. So you have an excellent memory, an analytical mind, and you're known for crystal clear thinking, right? You're also keen. You have the keen ability to probe into human motivations. And so people like to check their plans with you before putting them into action because you have a microscopic vision when it comes to detecting a flaw, right? <clears throat> think, of, um, think of people like Beyonce. Think of people like Jennifer Hudson. Think of people like Richard Gere. Think of people like um, Mother Teresa. Think of people like Lance Armstrong and Kobe Bryant. And think of people like Confucius, Sean Connery, Harry Connick Jr., Michael Jackson, Macaulay Culkin. Think of all of these people. Their sun sign is a Virgo, including you, right? You possess all these wonderful things, right? And so you, um, you also... Um, tend to have a difficulty tend to have difficulty getting in touch with your deeper feelings because of your mechanism of denial that 's firmly set in place so um Virgos will usually say will say things like i 'm not upset or you 'll say "I feel okay about this and that whatever um or saying that you feel okay covers a lot of messy feelings for you um that you 'd rather not examine right and so um, like I said, people like the thing people like most about you is that you're conscientious, right? People really, really check in with you. But in terms of those deep, deep, deep emotions and feelings, that's why some people really believe that Virgos are cold and heartless, but you all really are not. This is just how you are. This is your makeup. This is how you were created. You like, you like to deal in with you are, you are very, um, analytical and you're perfectionist, um, you're very reliable. This is a Virgo at the highest. You're intelligent, you're analytical, honest, reliable, perfectionist, loyal, kind, hardworking, practical, right? So when you start to feel critical, judgmental, fussy, or even a little slow, that's vibrating at a lower frequency. That's when you know you are not at your highest frequency, Virgo. That's what I need you to know. You got to check the people around you too, Virgos. You really, really got to check the people around you um, and not really buy too much into what people think or what they say um, because people will try to throw a Virgo off. And I, and if I've spoken with you, if you've done a personal reading with me, if you've had a personal reading with me, um, any of my Virgos out there, you all know what I always say. I truly, truly do not believe that Virgos need to work for anyone else. You all are, like I said, a lot of people um, look up to Virgos in terms of checks and balances because they know that you are very conscientious, right? And so if there's something in you that you know that the world needs, 
I will suggest that you go do it, really, Virgos, because you all are some dynamic people. I need you all to continue vibrating at your highest frequency because that's what people need. Again, when we talk about Michael Jackson, when we're talking about Beyonce, we're talking about Mother Teresa, Lance Armstrong, all these other people that I name, and I'm sure you can name some more names down in the comments section, but it also includes you vibrating at your highest frequency. Those people just decided, I'm just going to go after my dreams. I'm going to go after whatever it is that I want to do in life, my purpose, and I'm going to do it well. Okay. That's all. And some cards popped out here. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave those two cards right there. Let's get into your general reading. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Virgos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action and also in areas of creativity and emotions and also in areas of power and intellect what information do we have for my wonderful virgos let's get into your reading virgos oh wonderful cards popped out i want to show you these two cards first right this is the six of pentacles and the page of swords right see how this page of swords is walking on a tightrope i want to see if i can get in close here carrying a book and all these wonderful ideas so many wonderful things about this page of swords right so the page of swords very very interesting because the page of swords means multiple things it means that you have mental dexterity you're able to walk a tightrope carry a book and read it and you come up with all these wonderful ideas it also means that you can have a challenging lover right it means mental dexterity wisdom based on experience youthful ideas community you're able to communicate your plans and you also have a very refreshing honesty you're able to do multiple things clearly because who else can carry uh walk a tight rope carry a book and read it not fall off and still come up with all these wonderful ideas virgos yep that's you can do multiple things. And this is why I want you to recognize your power, Virgos. Really, really, I need you to ascend higher. This is the judgment card. I need you to ascend. Really, really ascend higher. How you do that is to be delivered from other people's opinions of you. Delivered from what they think of you and what they say about you. Because in the big scheme of things, it really doesn't matter anyway. Look, the full card. The full card is about a brand new beginning, uncorrupt, pure, you being an eternal optimist, being a very free and pure spirit is connected to the planet Uranus, which is Aquarius's ruling planet, right? Love it, love it, love it. Aquarius is a very free spirited people. Your freedom is coming in and then look at this just, just a judgment, uh, justice card, right? Love it, love it, love it. So all this just simply means is that your life is in harmony. This is attached to the Libra. Your life is harmonious, right? You have objective thinking, which restores balance. You're accepting the truth that you are a fantastic person. That is the truth. At your highest vibrations, Virgos are unstoppable. I'm trying to tell you, Virgos. I'm, I'm telling you, this comes out consistently. This right here, the star card, is attached directly to the Aquarius. You are a star. You feel free. You will feel your freest when you ascend to a higher vibration, right? And also look at you, the emperor. You're a leader. This is attached to the Aries, by the way. You're very, very powerful. Very powerful. Very powerful. I want to say it again. You're extremely powerful. Um, you're ambitious. For a lot of people, like I said, this is attached to the Aries. For a lot of people, you're a father figure, whether you're a man or woman. You are very, very mu much in tune with your divine masculine energy, which is it projects outward and is secure in his giving nature. So not only are you a nurturer in receiving people, you're also a giver. Perfect balance of energy you are perfect balance of energy you are virgo i want you to see that see by default virgos are divine feminine doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman divine feminine you are a receiver right you nurture people around you you want to make sure everybody is taken care of but in this particular reading you're also very very much in tune with your divine masculine energy right doesn't matter if you're a man or woman, but you're in touch with both sides, divine feminine and divine masculine, right? 
which means that you are a giver, right? So there's a very healthy balance there. Speaking of giving and receiving, people will be giving and receiving lots of money from you, right? You're nurturing people, but also people are nurturing you. They're giving to you. You're able to receive and receive from givers, not takers. You see? Mm -hmm. Again, all of this is predicated on the fact that you are at your highest self, right? You're vibrating at your highest frequency, following your purpose, your divine purpose here in this dimension. Very, very, very powerful. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Look, <clears throat> okay, so this is freedom from fear. This is where I need you to be. Have all freedom from fear, right? This is a connected to the planet Saturn, which is no longer retrograde. Today is October 1st. It went station direct September 29th or the end of September 29th because it was still retrograde September 29th. But at some point it went station direct. It is now station direct. A lot of you all have divorced fear and you're winning at it, right? Winning your willpower. You decided, okay, I'm just going to just go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm an equal balance of divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Not only am I a giver, I'm also a nurturer. That's receiving energy, right? And so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for the gusto and do it. I'm going to start my business. I'm going to strike out on my own. I'm just going to do what I need to do because I know how to get it. But some of you are still stuck here at the emotionally um, wounded part when it comes to your money. I think I told Capricorn this the other day <clears throat> when I was doing a reading for them. Look, see how this person has their head down, Virgo? This is the five of pentacles. They're emotionally wounded, right? Look how close they are to this vault. The key is right here. All they have to do is look up, look up, raise their head up, turn around, See the key right here? That's going to unlock this vault. I'm telling you, your key is ascension. All you have to do is look up, ascend. The devil card, which is attached to the Capricorn, simply means that somebody is fearful and doubtful that things are not going to work out the way that they want them to work out. And they're going to actually be better than you imagine. I'm telling you. So this is you. This world card is having freedom from fear. This is fear and doubt. That's why I know there are some of you either on one or the other end of that spectrum. Some people are still living in fear and doubt. And other people are saying, look, I broke up with fear and doubt. And I'm living my best life. This is the Six of Cups. <clears throat> what that means for you, for some of you, it just means tapping into like that childlike faith. Having that childlike faith that things are going to work out. Not necessarily focusing on what's in this dimension, the third dimension, and saying, I look around me and I don't see any hope. This is you chat. You see how this child is? They don't have a care in the world. This is the same person, just older, right? It's younger, older. Same person, even younger and older dog. This is you tapping into your childlike faith, saying, you know what? I don't have a care in the world. I'm happy. This is a child. I'm happy. Um, I have a roof over my head. They're not thinking about food, clothing, shelter, not thinking about any of those things. Their primary focus is on the thing that they love the most doing. This is you, Virgo, focusing on the thing that you love the most. And look at you celebrating. Some of you are already in celebratory mode. Think of some Virgos in celebratory mode, right? These, these celebrities are no different than you, no better than you in terms of um, who they were created to be. The only difference is that they just decided to go for it. Decided to go for it. Not everybody was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Some people just decided to just divorce fear and just go for it, run towards their dreams, run towards the thing that's just that makes them the happiest, things that they've been dreaming about since they were children, right? And just saying, you know what? I'm not too old. It doesn't matter what, what my skin color is. It doesn't matter if I'm a man or woman. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to go for it, right? I don't care how I look. Time machine. Listen to number three. Three signifies a lot of different things. Me, myself, and I. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, those three deities there. Um, but you have everything working for you. 
everything in the universe is working in your favor, right? If you think you're too old, time just slowed up for you. And we're talking about, when people think about time, a lot of times you're thinking about time as in measurement. Today, tomorrow, six months from now, a week, whatever. But when I'm talking about time, I'm talking about time as an illusion because that's the truth. It's going to almost feel like to you, it's going to feel like to you, wow, I should have done this sooner. But actually it is, you're doing it at the perfect time. And that's breaking up with fear and doubt and just soaring and just winning at all places of your life. That's you. Yes, that is you. I'm loving, loving, loving this energy for you all because three just by itself is a significant number, right? It's by itself, it's a significant number. It's about you being a delightful person, the number three, because that's who you are. You're a delightful person. You have this very welcoming feel to you. You're very congenial nature, very congenial nature. Um, you were born to inspire people, Virgos. So I want you to go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it, right? Don't worry about your age. being That's not an obstacle. Your race is not an obstacle. Your sexual orientation is not an obstacle. You don't have any obstacles. You were born to inspire people, so go do it. All right? That's what I have for you, Virgos. Have a great day. Bye.